ratio of this divided by this is not a variation because there are so many points. If I want to know what is delta y or delta x, I have to bring this point to this or this to this. If I bring this point to this, means delta x will become what? Zero. These two points will become one. And you will get some value. That value is the rate of change of y with respect to x at that point. Y is an ordinary example of physics. You see this, this is an example of mathematics. In mathematics also you find laws, equations in which one variable depends upon other. Try to understand. Now I will give you one more example. Then we will take up. I am just telling you. Let's say a different type of graph. This is one type of graph. In the same like it. There is a one type of graph which is a curve. There can be one more like this. If I take this as x, I take this as y. And if I tell you this angle is 45 degrees, then the equation of this will be y equal to x. Why? I just showed you that you want to find dy. You want to find dy by dx of this. At this point, I want to know what is the rate of change of y with respect to x at this point. I'll give you a short term number. Straight line, we have to think about the tangent. Tangent, if I want to know what is the rate of change at this point, this is x, this is y. What is dy by dx at this point? Okay. If I want to know what is the how does y change in x, you can see y changes in x. But in this case, y changes in x is same. I'll tell you why it is same. I'm going to bring you the concept of slope. I have just told you that this is also called slope, and this is equal to mean, remember tangent of theta. Rate of change of one variable with respect to other variable at a point is equal to the tangent of the angle made drawn at that point. What is the same? Now suppose I want to put the value of slope here. What is d by by dx here? I am just asking you. Take an angle. You know, tangent is a line which touches the curve at one point. So you draw it an angle and you know that this angle is theta. And from the table, you can find tangent of theta. Let's say this is theta 1. Now if I ask you, what is the rate of change of this quantity with respect to this at this point? So again draw it an angle. So when you draw it an angle, this angle, this is the angle, which is theta 2. Can you see this? This angle is theta 2. So try to understand. When the laser curve like this, when the laser curve like this, it's not a straight line, that tangent will, if you go on right tangent here, 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 it will take turn like this. And the angle of the tangent with this will change. Slope will change, and I've just told you, slope is equal to the rate of change of quantity at y axis with respect to the change in our y axis. So what are we talking about? We are talking about Two functions are there, let's say x and y. I have written here y equal to x. Try to understand this now. If I ask you, what is dy by dx here? What is dy by dx here? At this point, you do nothing. I tell you first method without calculation. You just have the rate of change with respect to this is same line. At this point, I draw a tangent. So please don't. Straight line itself is a tangent for every point on it. So if you want to draw a tangent, it will be a line. And what is this angle? 45. So what is tangent 45? Line. I ask you, what is this value of slope here? How does this change with respect to this here? Okay, same. Everyone understood that. Because what do you do? You draw a tangent here. 
Asian will be nothing, it will be a set and register again in the reporting card. So, again for this also, slow wave will be the same, slow wave will be the same, slow wave will be the same. Because at every point here, tension drawn on these points will be line itself and the line is like 45 degree angle. So, 10, 45 is 1. This means rate of change of change, one rate of change of one is the rate of change is one. This is changing with respect to this at this point. One. What is one? One is a constant. So rate of change is constant. And then I tell you, by this mathematics we can do, I'll show you how to do this. Because if I show you this, then you will understand. So what do you have done? Number one. In mathematics and physics, there are Quantities which depend what depends on the other. If one changes, other also changes. If they depend, then we you can use a simple equation to tell. Sir, if x and there is this much, y will be this much. Simple equation for the value which you know. I don't want that, I want a little higher. I want to know what is the rate of change of one quantity with respect to the other and some value of x. Then you have to do the calculation. That calculation I am telling you. Second thing which I told you, concept of tangent. If you want to know the rate of change graphically at any point of the function, you have to do nothing. Draw a straight line, which should be a tangent at that point. Measure the angle that way, makes with the positive direction of x-axis. Take tangent of that, that is the slope. If the value comes zero, suppose it comes zero, for example, what do you mean by that? Now let's see. Children, if you remember that we had last time drawn graph of what? Sine theta cos theta. I just ask you a simple question. See this. This is zero. Zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all that is 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 0, y, y values, plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, and so on. Now I am not taking x in part. I am making theta, and I am making tan theta here. Tan theta I am making on which direction? y. So I am just holding with x here is theta, and y is what? Tan theta. So y is i is equal to tan theta. And I write this as simple y, which is nothing. Tangent of an angle depends, tan theta depends upon theta. See, what I have gone this is, if you just remember, this is 0 and if this is pi by 2, and if this is minus pi by 2, then the graph will go, and if this is value like 1, the graph will go pi by 2, this will be pi by 4. 5 by 4 is how much? 45 degree. How much is 10 45? 1. So I have to draw a graph like this, and where this cuts this, I write 1 in. And this will graph will go like this, and you draw a straight line, and why it will never intersect. Because when theta becomes 90, then 90 is what? It will be. Am I right or wrong? And if you extrapolate graph on this way, this side, this graph will come like this. It will not shake them. Therefore, tangent of the value depends upon the term by this expression. If I ask you what is the value of d y by dx, see how I am writing. What is y equal to? Tan theta. So, how does, what is the rate of change of tan theta? And what is the value along x axis theta? Change the expression d theta. What is d tan theta by d theta? It means how does the value of tangent theta change with this thing? So whenever you find an expression d is something by, by d thing, think we want to know how does the upper thing varies when you change the lower thing. Now there is a mathematical formula for this. I am not going to mention. Have you seen this graph? Try to keep this graph in your mind. It's not a straight line, you can see it. And if I tell you what is the value of here, what should be this angle? This value. This value.